In this video, I will um, go over the basic forecasting methods that uh, we will cover in this class. Uh, let's create a chart. Uh, forecasting can be either qualitative or quantitative. So there are um, quantitative or qualitative methods of forecasting. Quantitative. Okay. Um, in, the, in this class, for a uh, majority of our discussion, we will have quantitative uh, methods as our focus. So let's expand on those. Um, you can either have um, causal models or you can have time series methods of forecasting. Um, with causal models, um, which you have studied back in um, when you took uh, statistics, um, with causal models, uh, you essentially have um, x variable being um, the independent variable, and it could be any variable. Uh, and y uh, is, of course, the variable to be predicted. Um, uh, y is always the dependent variable. In fact, in all forecasting methods, um, y is always the variable to be forecasted or predicted. OK, um, so uh, let's uh, talk about which ones are the causal models. Uh, in general, just regression, uh, simple regression and multiple regression. So um, simple regression and multiple multiple regression um, are the causal models. I will not um, go through that very in detail right now. And the reason for that is because uh, you this was this is material that is uh, prerequisite to this class. Um, when you're talking about time series um, analysis, always x is time, uh, and y, of course, is always going to be the variable to be predicted because. Um, we said in forecasting, y is always the variable to be predicted. So what are some time series methods that uh, we will cover in this class or that exist in general? Uh, some methods are, uh, and we can classify those into smoothing methods. Smoothing methods are really another way of calling them or averaging methods where you just look at the past data, which is your time series, and you um, try and go through some kind of averaging uh, so that you can understand how it behaved in the past so you can predict it in the future. Uh, some of the smoothing methods that we will cover in this class are uh, simple, moving, average, weighted, moving average uh, and single exponential smoothing. Um, now there are, there is also double and triple exponential smoothing methods, um, but we will not cover uh, these two in this class. Um, smoothing methods are all um, good when you have um, a time series that um, doesn't have trend and doesn't have seasonality in it. Um, 
When there is trend in the data, it is best to use trend projection or trend analysis. With trend analysis, <clears throat> because it's a time series uh, method, because it's a, all of these are time series methods, because trend analysis is a time series method, of course, the x variable is going to be time for it. But with trend projection, you're use, essentially using simple regression, um, just like here. You're using simple regression, but definitely um, you're using simple regression where x is time, or the independent variable is time. Um, and of course, y is the variable to be predicted, to be forecasted or predicted. Um, so, but essentially, whatever equation or format you use to compute um, uh, a trend, a simple, uh, a, a regression equation, you can use the same thing to compute the trend equation. Okay, and finally, uh, we have seasonal models. With seasonal models, um, you um, have some factor of seasonality, um, some, some uh, feature that repeats itself, or some, uh, the behavior of the data is repetitive in nature. And so, um, because they repeat themselves, uh, let's say every year, for example, you may have quarter one, quarter two, quarter three, or quarter four that behave similarly year after year. Um, or you may have months January through December um, that may behave similarly year after year. Or you might have days of the week, Monday through Friday or Monday through Sunday, that um, behave similarly week after week. So that's what we call seasonality. And um, we will review what's called the seasonal decomposition uh, model. And so seasonal models are also um, time series models. All right. Um, let me just bring one more example here. Um, um, I said simple regression and a trend projection are both similar in the sense that um, you have an X variable and a Y variable that you try to um, use um, regression analysis to uh, solve the problem. But with causal models or with regression analysis, X could be any variable. For example, X could be um, number of salespeople and Y could be number of units sold. And you try and um, explore a relationship between X and Y uh, so that you can make a prediction of Y. With trend equation, as I said before, X is always time and Y is whatever is to be predicted. So for example, you may <clears throat> track over time, over various months, uh, what the number of units, how many units were sold, so that you can make a projection um, given the trend that has existed in the past. So essentially that's the only difference between, uh, between the two, uh, but both of them use the same uh, equations for computing slope and intercept of the line. So in both trend and causal models, uh, you will have a Y predicted value, which is computed as uh, intercept of the line, of the regression line, plus um, slope, which we call um, B1 um, times X. And um, this X could be um, any variable um, when you're using causal models, or it would be um, time, 
uh, when you're using um, trend equation. Thank you.